Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be covering Bright Local's survey on what consumers are looking for in a mobile uh, website for a local business. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Hey, good morning, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. Yeah, we're talking about mobile, again, particularly relevant for small businesses trying to dominate in a local space. And we're covering this Bright Local Consumer Survey. And it's timely, Chad, because we know Google just you know, had their uh, mobile getting release uh, in April. They talked about how this was formally in the algorithm. If you don't have a mobile friendly site, it's going to hurt you in the rankings for mobile. Bing is now announcing that they're going to be bringing in mobile friendliness as a ranking factor. They've not done it yet, but they're, they're moving in that direction. So there, there certainly are plenty of signals to the small business that optimizing for mobile is, is really important. And this bright local survey that we're talking about today, a lot of good data in here, Chad, that supports that very premise. You know, consumers are using mobile to find information on local businesses more and more. The headline of this bright local survey in 2015 is that 61% of mobile consumers are more likely to contact a business if it has a mobile friendly site. And half of them prefer mobile search to an app or to using a map. So let's talk about the survey. Let's dig into the data a little bit, Chad, and then hopefully you can give some ideas on uh, what small businesses can do. I know our resellers are talking to them every day, and this is something that comes up quite a bit. About 900 consumers were surveyed uh, by Bright Local, and this is an interesting survey because it's one they did in 2013, and they're doing a redo now in 2015, which gives us some excellent longitudinal data. Uh, consumers, uh, say they're using mobile to search for local businesses. If you go back to uh, 2013, 39% they had said they had never used a search for local business. Now this year, only 23%. So we see a, a sharp decline, meaning it's becoming a much more ubiquitous technology. Um, another question, very interesting here, Chad, they are using their devices to find information on a local business more often uh, via mobile. Uh, in 2013, only 30% said they did it at least once a month. In 2015, we're at 38% saying at least once a month, I'm using my mobile device to find a local business. Um, 2013, 53% of consumers said they didn't expect a local business to have a mobile site. That is now down in 2015 to only 17% saying they do not expect a business to have a mobile ready site. So you see some major movement in just 24 months across this survey data. What does that, what does that mean for members of our SEO reseller community, Chad? Well, Adam, I think looking at our SEO reseller community, I have this conversation all the time with, with um, the people in our community about how do I sell? How do I get my foot in the door with these small businesses? And one of the things that, you know, we, we talked about how uh, the mobile algorithm update by Google back in, in April was sort of a, a really nice way of getting our foot in the door because for the first time Google said, hey, if you don't have a mobile website, we're going to downplay you in the results. What a great way for our SEO resellers to go out and talk about getting new websites up and optimizing their website for maximum visibility in the search engine. You know, again, here's some more data that you can use. So these are really important facts. I think that everyone really almost commit to memory to talk about these trends, these long longitudinal trends, because a lot of small businesses just aren't paying attention to this stuff. They're doing more stuff on mobile themselves, but they're not really thinking that, hey, my business is suffering because I'm not, I'm not really optimized for what people, how people are now using the web. So there's a couple things, uh, other pieces of data from the survey that we wanted to cover. Um, a few things that in terms of where people are most searching, most often looking for a mobile experience. Uh, if you're a business, it's a, a restaurant, general shopping, doctors, dentists, clothing, clothing, uh, and hotels or B&Bs. Those are categories where people really are looking, they're using their mobile devices when searching, they're looking for a better mobile experience. We all know it's very frustrating when you hit a website and you have to kind of tab around or, or use your, uh, you know, zoom in to try to find a number. It's maybe not clickable, it's in an image. It makes it very difficult uh, to actually transact or get on the phone with you and, and, and move forward. So if you're one of these businesses or if you're an SEO reseller, uh, another agency that services these communities use this data because it's very useful. Um, another thing that we wanted to cover here is is really the five things people are looking for in a mobile website. Uh, those things are the physical address, maps and directions, hours of operation, phone number, and prices. So those are things you want to make sure that your mobile experience makes it easy to get to. Uh, in terms of um, the five, the, the top five things that people are will, will make people abandon a local business website. It's essentially the opposite of what I just said. If they don't have an ad address or there's no way um, to get to a, a map, 
Uh, if there's no phone number, the business doesn't have a local store, um, there's bad content and no pricing info. So really, those are all things that you wanna make sure you cover. And again, remember that anyone who is on their mobile device and is looking for your business, the intent is very high. They're out and about, they're looking for a place to go, uh, either buy or consume something. And so, you know, you make sure this is this is really important and often very simple. I mean, these a lot of times the SEO resellers we work with um, are able to, to uh, switch out a simple small business website for a couple thousand dollars or under. So this isn't a massive investment for most small businesses. It's something you should do all the data supports it, and it's only gonna become more and more prevalent. So I think our advice to our SEO resellers who are servicing these communities would be embrace these facts, use them to get your foot in the door, and if you are a small business watching this video, uh, you know, now's the time. Let's move forward with getting you up with a mobile website. Excellent, Jed. Yeah, I guess the data really couldn't be any stronger. We've been talking about mobile for years. It's been coming. It's been coming. It's here. This data just confirms it. And some excellent advice you have, both for the resellers trying to sell and position. You find a client without a mobile-ready website. That's an easy in. It's a great door opener. Um, bring these stats along with you to help close the deal. And then when you get down to it, there are very specific prescriptions you went over there, Chad, on what people are actually looking for. Again, this consumer data is going to help you position your client to get a lot of leads from the web. Well, that's our coverage of the Bright Local Survey for 2015, a redo of the 2013 with some excellent stats on mobile. We appreciate you coming to the Brown Bag. We'd love for, to have you subscribe because we'll see you right back here tomorrow. <laughs>